call 928-0060. From flooded property to stranded in cars for hours, there's no question the severe weather parked over uh, South Florida for days. It tested a lot of people's patience. It also tested humanity. Now, an uplifting story about a 30-year-old stranger helping a 67-year-old stranger. Uh, Jamie has the heartwarming story of a new unlikely friendship. This is a snapshot of what it means to be a good human. His um, hospitality, his kindness, offering me that kind of assistance and carrying me, carrying me, really? In this photo, 67-year-old Donna Silverthorne is piggybacking on a complete stranger after being stranded in her car in Miami Beach because of torrential flooding. At 8.30 at night, I was in the car since quarter six, and uh, this man was out there. And I said, hello, how you doing? And he goes, yeah, how about this? I said, I know, I know. And he goes, listen, I got a plan. But I live a half a mile away. I'm gonna get my car up on the uh, medium and then I'm gonna walk. And if you wanna join me, you're welcome to join me. So I thought, you know, I thought about it and then I said, yeah, you know what, I will. Donna accepted because she already had a rough day and was considering sleeping in her car. She was trying to get home to Dania Beach after taking her sister, who has melanoma, to the emergency room. We find out she has pneumonia, she has a small blood clot on her lung, and her enzymes are so high in her heart that she's about to have a heart attack. The man who helped Donna, 30-year-old Donahue Peoples III. He didn't just help her from being stranded, he invited her into his home, offered her food and the guest room to stay in. And since Donna is a retired chef, she cooked for Donahue and his girlfriend, and they drink a bottle of wine, forming a new friendship that will last a lifetime. I think the, the people ultimately come together in challenging circumstances. I think like the worst circumstances bring the best out in people. And uh, if she and I uh, transverse something relatively difficult together, it was uncomfortable, it was unpleasant. There was a lot of uncertainty as to what was going on. And I think that that, that brings people closer. And finding out in all, in all this awful, flood stuff and how people can be sometimes, there you go, you have a little, you have a hero walking around. Oh, no, no, I, I did what, what anybody else would do in that circumstance. Um, you know, saw somebody in trouble, uh, stepped in, uh, you know, opened, our, opened my doors and uh, well, we got closer. Uh, I think the, the salmon and the, the sauteed broccoli and the rice uh, more than made up for the piggyback ride. Donna says that she's already planning to have Donahue and his friend over for dinner in the near future. It's too early for tears, Jessica. I know, this is a really sweet story. <laughs> yeah. It's wow. also uh, good timing because we're about to come into a, a week-long rain event here where we I might know. see, uh, I mean, I'm praying we don't see an event like Florida <sighs> just saw, but I know. knowing how the Valley sometimes uh, deals with some of these issues, when we do get only a couple inches of rain and through Friday, we could see upwards of seven inches of rain. I know. Uh, it's a good reminder uh, to know what could happen. And, and it's also a good reminder uh, to help out if you do see someone, not just in the rain, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, anything that, yeah. that comes your way heading into this week. Yeah, that makes sense. So, Jessica, you'll carry me. <laughs> How about we just don't drive out in the water, folks? Just kidding. I like to put Jessica in uncomfortable situations. I'm kidding. I mean, of course, I would carry <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I would carry you, too, and your dog, Butters. Oh. Guys, I have to carry Butter through the sprinkler, so I can't even imagine how I'm going to have to carry him this week. That's funny. I carry Laika um, around the, the water at the beach. He doesn't like the water, so I have to, you know, but then he doesn't like the hot sand either, so I carry him everywhere. Yeah, it's okay. Yep, sounds like we're going to be doing a lot of that. It's good practice. going to be doing a lot of that. But, you know, that really was a heartwarming story, and I really, really, really love when we get to see good people doing good things. I know. It's good to highlight that kind of stuff. Sometimes yeah. Got some... Got some downer things that we, we covered uh -huh. here, but uh, mm -hmm. but that's a good one. That's a fun one. Yeah, and he said, I did what anyone would do, but I don't know if anyone would do that. I agree. So good job, Donahue and his girlfriend, and yep. uh, I'm glad they had a good time, yep. and everyone's safe. Yeah. Yeah, and everyone's going to have a good time this morning, too, because oh, it's yeah. going to be a good morning. Uh, well, first of all, it already is because you're watching, so thank you so much for tuning in to NBC 23. Uh, I'm Danielle Bonda. I'm meteorologist Jessica Kirk. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a good one. What do you have for us? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, lots of rain. <laughs> We actually have a good forecast today. I'm not going to, sometimes, I, you know, you and Jeremiah, you uh -huh. can take over and tell me that it's going to be a really hot week, but got to be honest, I know. Yeah. 
Today is not your day. Did you see the umbrella on my desk? I'm prepared. I did not. You didn't? Go take oh a look. Oh my goodness. It's a big one. You're welcome. Danielle came uh, prepared. Mm -hmm. I have an umbrella <laughs> in my car ready to go. Um, and I put my rain boots, my rain jacket out just in case I needed it this morning. Yeah. Not yet uh, where I was, but later this afternoon, most of us are probably going to want to have that. Uh, on the standby because of what we have going on out in the tropics, uh, we have this area of interest with a high chance of development over the next seven days. This is the first high chance of development that we have had all season. We have not had a name storm quite yet for the 2024 hurricane season, and this could potentially be our first one. It is not expected to make landfall in the valley, but Whatever it does become, we're expected to get a significant amount of rain with the flooding potential. Now, right now we do have a handful of showers creeping up through the valley. This is not the flooding.